hello there my friend welcome to the channel and thank you for watching in this video we have three topics the first one is about charlie musonda recovery process the second one is going to be about marco van hinkle should we give another contract to marco van hinkle and the last one is going to be about romelu lukaku let's start by talking about charlie musonda musonda is a player that i really like in the personal level everybody knows about it since when he was in the academy and during his injury i've been making a lot of videos try to support try to update you guys what's going on with charlie musonda and it happened that i can speak few languages and I read some article, some um, interview that he gave to some uh, newspaper in Belgium and it looks like it's a very good news. You know, I, I couldn't believe it because he said that every, everything is going great at the moment and um, he could be back, you know, uh, from... Uh, next summer not next summer this summer this coming summer so if the manager uh gives him pre-season you know he's ready for pre-season basically he's ready for pre-season and charlie musonda been out for almost three years three seasons well he been like few games and then get injured and go back to the, you know the hospital again for another year but you know what i mean basically three seasons without uh many professional uh games so he's lacking in you know much fitness if that makes sense even though his physique is you know getting better and better but you need to be much fit so what i can uh tell you right now guys is like we can't really expect too much from charlie musonda um we need to give him time we we need to give him pre-season and the question is do you really think that thomas tuchel is going to give him a pre-season he doesn't know him and we have so many players already from the lone army that will come back from the academy that also deserve the pre-season so it's gonna be very interesting to see what we do with Charlie Musonda, but for me, I will give him a preseason and see how it goes. And I don't even think that we can be able to loan him out this time. I don't think any team is going to risk, you know, another injury to a player. Like I don't see any team like put charlie musonda in their plan if that makes sense because you know that he's you know he's been injured often so the fear that you can just pay the money for nothing and you know it's it's gonna be very difficult so i think we need to keep him keep him at chelsea football club give him pre-season play him with uh, under 21s here and there and few games in the senior level and start building his fitness back to the the normal level and let's see what uh, is going to happen and fingers crossed we need to pray for this brother because what a talent can you just imagine if charlie musonda was 100 percent fit never got injured and also kalium hasunadoi never got that bad injury my goodness I don't know what team we were going to have but charlie musonda was going to be right on top there always number nine in the you know in the starting 11 because i have no doubt the guy is oh my gosh it's just what injury can do to people whose career is just evil but charlie i'll be praying for you brother the second topic is going to be about another injury player also marco van hinkle and for this brother it's almost four years of the same thing injuries acl injury that he got at chelsea um and then uh we loaned him out here and there ac milan psv stock city 
he just struggling he've been struggling another great players also destroyed by injured injured are really evil and you don't want to wish any injury to any player from any team to be honest with you van hinko Mourinho gave him playing time in the senior team that tells you everything you want to know because Mourinho Mourinho will never give a 19 20 years old a chance but Van Hickel got a chance under Mourinho that tells you how talented this boy was but uh last season his contract expired but Chelsea decided to extend for one more season so they can help him you know uh go back to the professional life so, which i really appreciated what chelsea did with marco because you know other teams they're not gonna give you that opportunity you've been injured your entire career at chelsea football club and when your contract comes up they're just gonna let you go but at chelsea we just did the right thing you know like hey we give you one more year extension and we loan you out so you can you know rebuild your career now the 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 the, the, the contract is going to end uh in summer you know in few months from now and according to the interview he gave lately he said that you know uh, he would like to renew with chelsea football club but he's not sure because nothing is offered yet so he went on loan at psv he did okay he didn't play so many games but he did okay over there and uh, i'm just praying that he, he got uh, another team because for me we did the right thing but i don't think he's going to make it a chelsea football club anymore just let him go and you know maybe to a smaller team somewhere he can find a home and he can continue his career it's very very sad the last topic for this video is going to be about Romelu Lukaku, Big Rome, and Fabrizio Romano, Mr. Here We Go himself, responded to an account on Instagram. Uh, you know, ev every single day Romano will get like thousand questions and he will pick few questions to respond. So uh, one Chelsea fan account asked him about Romelu Lukaku and he responded that uh, Lukaku wanna stay at Milan, okay? So, and according to many sources, Americans are going to get the majority sh uh, share at uh, AC Milan, AC Milan, Inter Milan. So they are not gonna have any financial trouble anymore. So they will afford to keep their players. Romelu Lukaku still have three years in his current contract and if Inter don't want to sell him he won't go anywhere and his desire is to continue working with uh, uh, with Antonio Conte and Inter Mila, Milan or Milano so I don't know man now it's time for Chelsea to start working on a plan B because Ken not coming to Chelsea because of Levy and because of they can't sell to a London club so he's going to maybe Manchester United or Manchester City and then Haaland we all know that it's gonna be a war right now between Man City Man United and you know all the Spanish clubs so we might find ourselves with nobody really <laughs> so what will be our solution you know take Romelu Lukaku out of the way Hurricane out of the way um and then Haaland out of the way if we don't sign them who would you go for okay what will be our plan b and that is a question that i'm gonna ask you guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like god bless and see you in the next one